Hi, how are you? Welcome to my channel. And as you see, it's Pilar Catolico, which means it's a Catholic pillar. That cat is my black cat. And today I will make for you the tag of the, your first time with God. Yes. How I met God, how God was part of my life. I already made this in Spanish. So if you want to practice your Spanish, you can go and try to see that. How old are you? Well, I'm 38 years old. Uh, yes. Next uh, question is, what's your religion? Of course, I'm Catholic, Apostolic, and Roman Catholic and Apostolic woman, like completely, the complete, <laughs> the complete package. I'm, I'm Catholic. At what age you've been baptized? Um, what age? I was four years old, and in order to come. In, get into the school, my sister had to be baptized, so my mother said, okay, let's baptize these two girls and and let's deal with this. So I was baptized when I was four years old. Um, who was the first person who spoke to you about faith and how he or she made it? Well, the first person, of course, was my mother. Yes, uh, since I was a baby, the first um, thoughts that I have about God is or, or praying and everything is in my bed maybe 7 8 p.m. at night and my mother next to me and she's singing with me songs uh, for the Virgin Mary uh, teaching me how to pray the Our Father who are in heaven the who are in heaven hello be the name but in Spanish of course also the uh, Hail Mary full of grace everything of course in the Spanish and another uh, little um, praise that you pray when you're a kid to, to God. No, I, I, That's how I remember how I start to, to know the faith and know about religion was because of my mother and also after that uh, when I was five years old I got into the school. The school was a Catholic school uh, with nuns uh, with Francis Franciscan can be Franciscan nuns well uh, from the order of San Francis and I studied there all my primary school all my high school and after that I went to a university of women also and uh, with nuns so all my life I spent with with nuns and, and God and religion and everything Catholic how old were you and in which context was your first experience with God well I was in I was 16 years old I was in school of course and normally in Peru uh, when you're in a Catholic school the last day of your high school you normally go to a retreat you you go away three days from your house with the nuns and uh, with people from your parish and for three days Friday Saturday and Sunday um, where is no TV, no cell phones, no phones, no, no anything, no anything. You are disconnected completely from the world. They only give you an, a small bed where you sleep next to your, your, your friends. And you spend the whole day uh, or praying or, me, or, or listening um, testimonies uh, of your friends or, or people around you. You spend a lot of time thinking about your life, uh, what you want for life, and, and things like that, like in a normal retreat. And normally uh, they ask your mom and your dad and your maybe your brother and sisters, please write a little letter to your to this little girl who's going to a retreat because she will read it in a moment of the, of the retreat. So they give me the letter that my mother brought me and I was reading that and um, uh, after that they give us like two hours so in that moment we were able to to see them maybe write a letter to our mom or our dad i realized I, I i don't want to to write a letter for my mom i don't want to write a letter for my father because i will see my father maybe in two three days i will see my mom tonight so i prefer to tell my the, the things to my mother face to face that i love her that i'm very sorry for the times i was really disres disrespectful with her and everything i told god you know god i want to take this time to talk to you because um i want to know you 
because I want to know, I want to feel you. Because, okay, I, I'm coming here to this Catholic school, I'm in the Catholic Church, I'm part of all of this since I'm a baby. And I feel that you, you are my savior and I, and I trust in you, God. I have faith in you, God. But, but here I am, I'm 16 years old and already I can tell you, I need to feel more of you. I need to feel you really in my life. I, I need to, to have you in my life. I will cry like I cry in the other video. And in that moment, I can tell you, I, I start to feel like, 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 like something was making a big pressure in my chest. I feel like, like, like a little hurricane in in my in my heart in my, in in here in this part of the chest. I I can tell you, I felt the presence of God there. I'm sorry. Um. And suddenly, he. It's a feeling so deep that I don't know how can I explain to you in words. It's, it's, it's everything. It's everything. It's, um, it's everything. What did you feel? What I feel in that moment is what I feel now. It's because God is... Because the experience of God was not. The experience of God is. It's in present. It's, it's present. It's forever. It, the presence of God was not a feeling, will not be a feeling. The presence of God is present and will be present forever. It's because God is present and 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 like I told you was was like like a fire, like 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 something touching your heart very very hard. I feel now it's like nothing matters right now. It's it, it, I can tell you the the entire world right now can just fade away. Just just fade away and I know I'm with him and, and everything will be fine. It's it's a completely trust. It's it's a completely peace. It's it's like like tomorrow, like right now can I start the Armageddon. Right now can I start everything and it's it's a peaceful thing that I, I can I, I I cannot explain with words but that's why I cannot explain to you just some people just want to cry, some people dance, some people praise harder. I don't know how can I explain the feelings that I have for God. It's it's bigger than me, it's, I know because it's God. How can I explain to you? Uh, seven. There is any song that reminds you that moment? Well, there's a lot of songs, but this is this is a song that uh, the singer is Martin Valverde. He's from uh, I guess he's from Costa Rica or what? Am I? From Costa Rica, I guess. And the song is I I praise you, my Lord. And it, it, the song is in Spanish, of course, but some parts are in English, just a little. He's very famous in Latin America. Ah, I know. Cause you are all I have. Cause you are all I need. I praise you in the spirit and truth. Te alabo, te alabo en verdad. Amen. Yes. After you met God, something changed in your way to see God? Well, everything, of course. Because before I like you you know, like I told you, I, I was part of the Catholic Church more big more, more of for my mother, for the school, and and the Catholic formation in, in, in the school. When this happened to me, it changed everything for me. I, I, I start not to see God, because when you... Actually, yes, before I used to see God. After this happened, I feel God. I don't see Him, because 
when you see you need to it needs to be out of your eyes needs to be here or here or at least here but now god is not i don't see god now i don't i do not see god i now i is he's inside he's so inside that i feel him that 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 that's that's how how it changed that no anymore i don't see god anymore it's, since since that moment i feel god yes since that moment i feel god now when you want to connect to god what what do you do what what the, what do i do when i want to connect to god first disconnect from the world the first thing disconnects from tv computer and everything and the only thing i turn on some are my catholic music uh, or i put the uh, or i pray the rosary with pope benedict in latin yes 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 and then what will you tell to somebody who wants to find God, to want to feel God? Well, the first thing is that you 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 really want you you really need to want to feel God it's something that you your soul needs to want it don't don't worry if, if your heart doesn't feel it right now don't worry maybe it's not the time for you it's not the right time for you I guess God comes to me when I was that young oh, because he was preparing me because after that my life started to change a lot it, my mother well, got uh, extremely sick with cancer and died a, a year after and everything changed in my life. I moved with my, with my father and things were really complicated in my life uh, and I guess God wanted to, to me to be strong enough to pass all these moments that he, I, I, he was thinking, Pilar, will, in, in the future, Pilar will need me for this, for this, for this, for this. And you know what? She needs to know me right now. So when she passed through all these moments, I will be there for her. She can come and run to me and I will be there for her because she needs me right now. She needs me right now to support her, to hold her, to tell her, no matter what, I'm here. I'm here for you. And so I guess if you want to know God, try to find try to find a moment in loneliness, in loneliness, and try to to start to pray the rosary, start to pray. The, yes, in Latin. Why I don't know why, but in Latin, when you pray the rosary in Latin, you feel more connected to God. Why I don't know, but this is something that you feel more deep. Tell God from the bottom of your heart, from the really the bottom of your heart, please God, I want to know you. Please God, please God, I, I want to, to feel you in my life. Please, really, this is what I want to do. I want to, to feel what that woman in YouTube is, is feeling. I want it, I want it right now. I, I want it. I, I want to feel you in my life right now. Please, God, come to my soul. I want to feel you. I know you. I see all the miracles you made in my life. But, but still, I cannot feel you. And I really need to feel you. For real, from your heart. Believe me. You will be able to find God. And that's it. Um, I hope you like this little tag. And I, I hope you like that I tell you this much about my first experience with God and thank you for watching the video really thank you so much I'm sorry for my bad English thank you anyway kisses to everybody and especially to uh, a girl who, who talked to me the other, day, the other night her name is Chloe and she sings like the angels I guess I will make a video about her and the choir of my of my parish this week so um, let's see how it works okay I will see you take care bye